People are surprisingly bad at detecting lies. For instance, one study indicated that in a lab setting, participants could only correctly identify lying 54% of the time. Clearly, behavioral distinctions between honest and dishonest persons are difficult to distinguish and measure. Different methods of detecting falsehoods have been explored by researchers. While there might not be a clear-cut evidence of dishonesty, like Pinocchio's nose, researchers have discovered a few useful cues. Keep in mind that these symptoms are just probable markers of dishonesty, not conclusive proof. Additionally, some experienced liars may get away with not displaying any of these indications. Number 1. They speak more quickly. In a similar vein, a liar may start to speed up their speech in an odd-sounding manner after pausing to gauge your reaction and think through what they're going to say next. Researchers discovered that after the person making up the lies had their story straight, they started to talk more quickly because they believed speaking too slowly for an extended period of time would be taken suspiciously. Conversely, speaking slowly didn't upset those who were telling the truth at all. Truthful people, according to the study, didn't even noticeably change their speech rate inside a single sentence. Number 2. They employ language that you have never heard them use before. Liars have been known to vary their terminology. One sign that someone is overthinking their words is if they say they drove their car home but then say they called it their vehicle a few sentences later, and you've never heard them say vehicle before. Number 3. They cannot stop fidgeting. Consider what a child would do if they were asked where the last cookie went. They might lick their lips, examine their nails, or tremble their hands before telling a huge white lie. What's occurring is that their anxiety response has kicked in it, leading blood to be withheld from their extremities. All of these behaviors could indicate concern about telling a falsehood. They might be unconsciously attempting to reduce that anxiety response or at the very least restore blood flow to their extremities. Number 4. Inconsistent talking and body language. In our society, no implies shaking one's head side to side, and yes means shaking one's head up and down. If someone is denying doing anything but has a shaking head, then they most likely did. People subtly emphasize things with their heads all the time, and the head is more reliable than the mouth. Watch videos of well-known people rejecting severe claims while shaking their heads as examples. For example, Bill Clinton's denial that he had sex with Monica Lewinsky, John Bennett Ramsey's father's denial that he killed his daughter, and Tom Brady's denial that he inflated the football for the Patriots. Number 5. Before responding, they pause. Before answering a question, a person may take a long or unusually extended pause, which may be a sign that they are lying. This is especially true if the solution is straightforward and obvious. When someone pauses before responding to a question that seems simple, they might be struggling to remember what they've already said and how to continue the lie. Number 6. They stand very still. Although it's well known that individuals squirm when they're anxious, Glass advises that you should also keep an eye out for those who are completely still. As the body positions and prepares itself for a potential confrontation, this could be a symptom of the basic neuronal fight reaction as opposed to the flight response. It is normal to move your body in subtle, carefree, and, for example, when you speak and participate in typical conversation. Number 7. They attempt to defend everything. When someone tries to justify everything they say, even when not asked to, this is another red flag that they are lying to you. A study found that, Despite the fact that dishonest people typically don't speak much, they do frequently justify their statements on the spot. They probably have an explanation or an excuse for everything to make it sound more convincing, since they are working very hard to persuade you that they are telling the truth. However, if they are lying and overcompensating, they are rationalizing too many things without prompting. Number 8. A hand-to-mouth giveaway. Pay attention when someone partially or completely covers their mouth with their hand. Although it seems normal, it frequently signals that the next thing they say is untrue. When you ask someone why they left their previous job, and they instantly pause, put their palm to their mouth, and reply, I outgrew the position, they are withholding information. You could reply, it seems like you've got more to say, to elicit the truth. Would you like to elaborate? 
Number 9. They focus their eyes on the exit. If someone's gaze is constantly drawn to the door or the clock, it may be a sign that they are wishing they could leave the situation, possibly because they are lying to you. Even someone's torso or toes can be pointing at the entrance. Number 10. Watch their mouths. According to studies, people who are lying often suck their lips into their mouths to the point where they nearly don't exist. According to specialists, lying people take this instinctive move to silence themselves. Additionally, it is a pretty uncommon and unnatural thing to say when speaking regularly. You may be able to go several days or even weeks without engaging in conversation. Number 11. No ums or likes are used. It might not be all that unusual to use filler words like um, uh, and like where they organically belong during a conversation with someone. However, a 2010 study published in Applied Psycholinguistics found that using these natural speech words is less likely when you're lying. The study discovered that occurrences of um were less frequent while lying than when stating the truth, and it came to the conclusion that phrases like um are crucial to genuine, effortless communication, which is often lacking when someone is lying. Number 12. Take note of how quickly they are moving. When someone is lying, they usually make movements that give the impression that they are louder than they really are. They frequently sit very motionless, speak slowly, keep their hands at their sides, and make little facial movements. These habits can actually be a significant red flag that someone is lying because they might be faking a calm demeanor. It can be challenging to detect this type of poker face lying, which is a sign of a proficient liar. Number 13. They repeat themselves. Someone is attempting to think of what to say next, if they start to stammer and repeat words or phrases. This can mean that they are making up a tale to tell. Once more, contrast their tense speech with their usual speaking. Some people stutter constantly, thus for them, it would be a typical speaking pattern and not a sign of deceit. Number 14. They don't blink much as they look at you. Although it's usual for people to break eye contact when lying, the liar could go beyond and above to keep eye contact in an effort to manipulate and control you. Most people will periodically adjust their gaze or even briefly avert their gaze when speaking the truth. The icy, unwavering look of a liar, on the other hand, is used to intimidate and control. Additionally, be aware of quick blinking. In the end, one's instinctive response may be more reliable than cognitive lie detection. But why are people often lousy at recognizing dishonesty if our gut instincts might be more accurate? Most of the time, our instinctive associations may be disrupted by conscious responses. People frequently focus on the conventional behaviors associated with lying, such as fidgeting and lack of eye contact, rather than trusting their instincts. It is difficult to detect a faucet when actions that excessively suggest deception are overemphasized.